10 spot, we have cosmic inflation. The first half of this list is going to be some scientific explanations for parallel universes, but don't worry, the science won't get that complicated because then I wouldn't be able to understand it either. <laughs> first, let's start off by talking about the theory of eternal inflation. This is the idea that ever since the Big Bang, the universe has been rapidly expanding or inflating, and different parts of the universe have been inflating at different rates. This means that there are some sections of the universe that haven't really connected up with the rest, yet creating a sort of bubble universe. While our own universe has inflated enough to breed galaxies and stars and, and physics and science and whatever else, these other bubble universes are still in the process of creation. They have the potential to be the exact same two hours, or completely different from ours. Or maybe there is a you in one bubble universe that didn't get that bad haircut that you still really regret. One time, my mom cut my hair like Marilyn Monroe. It was brutal. Coming up in our number nine spot, we have mathematical constants. Similar to that theory is the fact that everything in our known universe can be explained with mathematical equations. Think the Pythagorean theorem. Scientists know that the structure of our universe can be broken down into our mathematical structure. Math, that is, as they call it, without human baggage. They believe that because of this, it is entirely possible to hypothesize that there are other universes out there that are based around different mathematical structures, each universe having their own laws and rules based off of the structure. So infinite mathematical structures means infinite universes, some being just slightly different and some being totally, completely different. Coming up in our number eight spot, we have backwards universe. Two years ago, in 2020, NASA discovered what they believe is evidence of a parallel universe, one that is more than a little bit different to ours. Their team called Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA, had been working on an experiment in, of course, Antarctica for a few years. A so-called cosmic ray detection experiment reportedly found particles that seemed to come from another universe, one that was also created when the Big Bang took place. While this evidence alone is pretty astounding, they also discovered that the particles appeared to be moving in reverse, leading them to believe that they had found evidence of a parallel universe where time moves backwards. While parallel universes are often just the work of science fiction and movies, we may be closer to finding the truth of the situation than we originally thought. In our number seven spot today, we have observable universe. Now let's talk about what scientists believe about the shape of space. In your head, maybe you imagine a big sphere or even some sort of donut, but most likely it's actually flat. And it stretches out infinitely, like forever, never ending. And if it goes on forever, then at some point it has to start repeating because there is a finite number of ways that particles can be arranged within space and time. So if you looked far enough, you would eventually find another version of you, maybe wearing a different shirt or eating something different for breakfast. Maybe a version of you that didn't watch this far in the video, but hey, we like this version of you better anyways. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would be pretty hard to actually see this far down the universe because our observable universe only extends 13.7 billion light years. This being the amount of time light has had to travel since the Big Bang. So you can consider the space beyond our observable universe to be its own sort of separate universe, one that we just can't see yet and probably won't for a long time, if ever. In our number six spot, we have time travel. Think about time travel for a second. Maybe you thought of Back to the Future. The concept of this movie is that if you go back in time and change one small thing, it can completely alter the future. Some scientists believe that time travel is a definite possibility in our future. So if it is, why haven't we seen anybody come back yet? And have they been screwing around and messing things up? Well, it's theorized that due to the way they would alter the universe, when time travel travelers go back in time, they actually create their own separate universe where things change. A parallel universe that works to include them in it. That would explain why we have never seen any real evidence of time travelers coming back to our current time, or even any point in the past, because they did not travel back in time in our universe, but instead to their own unique one. Am I melting your brain yet? Let's move on to some simpler stuff. In our number five spot, we have different life. 
For the second half of our list, we are going to be stepping away from science and taking a look at some people's stories of their experiences with glitches in the matrix that may lend evidence to there being parallel or multiple universes. One day, a man was in his house when he became overcome with the urge to go outside and stand on his lawn. For a moment, he said he had the clearest feeling ever before he felt a slight wobble and everything began feeling slightly distorted. When it was over and he turned to go back inside, he saw his car in the driveway, the same make and model, but a different colored car. But that wasn't the only thing that was different. When he saw his wife, he said that she definitely looked like his wife, but he just had this feeling that she was different. He also started having memories that weren't his and seeing buildings that you know there was no way he could have never noticed in his time living there, entire departments from his work no longer existing. Is it possible this man jumped to a parallel universe where his life was only slightly different? Maybe. In our number four spot, we have wrong memory. This one is a story of a false memory, seeming like an intense version of the Mandela effect. The Mandela effect being when a large group of people all share a false memory of something, which we mentioned in detail on the previous list. This person says that they vividly remember someone they know dying in a car accident, texting and driving and going off an exit ramp that was still under construction. They remember themselves and their family and friends attending the funeral and everyone in their small town talking about it for weeks. Skip to 10 years later, even the person's fiance knew about it and knew the person's name because of how many times they had told the story. One day their fiance is looking at their sister's Facebook page and says, hey, isn't that the girl who died? The person came over to look and it turns out that it was. Apparently also no one in the town after this incident had any memory of the car accident or the funeral that took place afterwards. So did this person potentially have a memory from a parallel universe where the accident had taken place? It's possible. Coming up in our number three spot, we have disembodied voice. People who believe strongly in multiverses and parallel universes usually believe that there are some places and occasions where the gaps between our universes are thinner and it is easier for things to cross over or for the universes to communicate with each other. This story seems like one of those moments where the barrier was thin. When this person was around the age of 10, they were going to the beach with their aunt and friends when they were divided between two different cars. One of the cars didn't know the directions, so they were following behind the other car. When Suddenly, it took a sharp turn and they had to follow and do the same, going around a very sharp bend. Suddenly, they all heard a very loud, clear voice in the car saying, sharp bend, hmm? The driver of the car hit the brakes as they all looked at each other confused, confirming there was no one else in the car that had said that. There wasn't even anyone close by outside the car who could have said it. So maybe it was someone managing to speak through the thin barrier between the universes? Or was it a ghost? You decide. In our number two spot, we have the motorcycle crash. Sometimes people experience situations where the impossible seems to happen and maybe it is impossible, but only in our current universe. This person told their story of a death defying crash. Six years ago, they were riding through town on a motorcycle going about 45 miles per hour. Suddenly a woman who hadn't seen them turned left out in front of them. And despite the short amount of time, they remembered thinking about their options, whether they should go over or under the car. They laid the bike down and slid underneath the car diagonally. They slid across the pavement, no helmet, no jacket, just jeans and a hoodie. They slid about 80 feet before they stopped and were then able to stand up. No injuries, except a hole in their sweater, their bike having been completely mangled and torn apart. They knew that there was no way that they should have survived the crash, but somehow they did. A potential glitch in the matrix of the universe? Possibly. In our number one spot, we have takeout. Have you ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? Me either. <laughs> the idea that if you put a cat inside a box with a bottle of poison, the cat is in a state of being both living and dead until you open the box and find out. Well, it turns out that you know the food you ordered last night, your takeout, is also in a state of being your order and not your order until you open it up and find out. 
A man and his friend went to a Chinese restaurant where they ordered a chicken dinner and a shrimp dinner. When they received their boxes and opened them both, they realized that they had received two shrimp dinners. No big deal, just a mix up. So they close the boxes and get ready to go ask for a replacement. But before they do, the friend opens the first box again and instead of the shrimp dinner they had clearly seen before, it was now a chicken dinner, what they had originally ordered. They knew what they had both clearly seen. Was it possible that for a few seconds they had received their lunch from a parallel universe where they had ordered something else? Maybe. Number 10, the London Hammer. Many times in history, people have found objects that they think could be evidence of a parallel universe intersecting with our own. Those thoughts were raised again when in 1936, a hammer was found in London, Texas. While on a walk, a couple found a hammer that looked like ones that had been used in the late 1800s. So cool, they found an old hammer. Well, there's actually much more to it. The hammer had not rusted at all and still hasn't since it's been found. And it was also found encased in rock that dated back to the Cretaceous period. For those of you who don't know, that's around 100 million years ago. This is obviously weird because most people agree that humans only started popping up around 200,000 years ago. So how could this hammer have come to exist? Some people believe that it's the remnant of a parallel universe where humans developed long before they did on our Earth, or that it had potentially traveled back in time. If you live in Texas and want to check out this infamous hammer for yourself, you can find it at Carl Bowes Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas. Number 9. Black Holes the existence of black holes is one of the greatest yet unexplained wonders of our universe, the first picture of a black hole only having been taken back in 2019. So how are they evidence of parallel universes? Well, let's get into some science here. Black holes are so hard to study because everything we've sent out there to try and get information is never seen again, people assuming that it's destroyed upon entering the hole. But Stephen Hawking said that whatever enters a black hole does come out, but it comes out out in another universe. Because of the law of conservation of mass, even if something is destroyed, evidence of its presence would still be able to be seen. They would be visible in hair-like images that trace its path into the black hole. But Stephen Hawking noticed that evidence showed these hairs were not present, meaning the item has completely disappeared from our universe. And I'm really hoping this is making sense. Stephen Hawking says that this is good evidence that they have been transported to another universe, saying black Black holes are not the eternal prisons that we once thought. Number 8. Cloud City In October of 2015, Chinese citizens were shocked by what appeared to be a floating city within the sky. Multiple people taking photos and videos of the cityscape that seemed to loom above them within the clouds. The shape was far too specific to brush it off as being anything man-made, and looked to clearly be a cloud city. People were left wondering what it could be, and theories popped up of parallel universes, or even secret holographic technology. There was no time to answer these questions or speculate if it had even happened at all as the exact same thing took place again in China in March of the following year. More photos and videos popping up again of the incident. Many people believe that this supposed city in the sky is evidence of another universe crossing over into our own. Feel free to take a look at the pictures for yourself and make your own decision. Number 7. Deja Vu Have you ever been walking down the street and gotten the sudden feeling like you'd done that before even though you haven't? This is a phenomenon that is known as deja vu or already seen. As of yet, there is no real scientific explanation for why people all over the world experience these feelings. And there are theories that range from memory problems to glitches in the matrix. People who believe that deja vu is evidence of parallel universes describe it like this. Think of a radio where you can only hear one frequency at a time. The parallel universes beside us are at different frequencies, however it's possible that for one small moment, the universes might vibrate at the same frequency and become in sync. Since parallel universes are all supposedly just slightly different, when these in sync moments happen and you believe that you've already had this conversation before, it's possible that you feel that way because you did, just in a parallel universe. Number six, the double slit experiment. Okay, this one is very sciencey, so bear with me. The double slit experiment was performed in the 1920s and seemed to offer convincing evidence 
existence of potential multiple parallel realities. The theory proposes that if tennis balls were fired at a wall through a single slit, then the marks on the wall would line up with the slit. So if you created two slits, it would create two lines on the wall. And if you fired waves through the wall, they would go through the splits, but still continue to spread out and leave multiple lines on the wall. And electrons should theoretically act in the same way that tennis balls do, but they didn't. They also made multiple lines as though they had been interacting with each other in the way that the waves did. But even when fired one at a time, it still made two sets of waves. For this to happen, it would mean that each electron somehow managed to travel through both slits. When they tried to film the electrons, they instead went back to just forming two lines like tennis balls. So this suggests that while parallel universes may be interacting with our own, we just don't have the technology to see it. Number five, the blue rock. All right, after that, let's go to something way more simple. In fact, let's go to something as simple as a rock. In 1990 in Sierra Leone, West Africa, an archeologist found a puzzling bright blue stone. When it was sent for studies, it was found that it was not similar to anything that could be found on Earth, and it was determined that it was not from this planet at all. One person who once held the stone said, it was perplexing and I had no idea what I was looking at, and I had no point of reference to compare it to anything else I had previously seen or handled before. Parts of this stone have come into the possession of many collectors over the years, and it is incredibly highly valued, likely because many people believe that similarly to the London Hammer, this is an artifact that has traveled to our own Earth from a parallel universe. Number four, the Mandela Effect. The term the Mandela Effect first came around in 2009, when a woman named Fiona realized that she and many others shared a false memory of Nelson Mandela having died in prison, when in reality he was still alive. She created a website to explain her observance of this phenomenon, shocked by just how many people all over the globe could possibly share this false memory. Over the years, many people have come together to share different examples of this Mandela effect. Some of the most famous ones being the spelling of the Bernstein Bears title, Darth Vader saying Luke I am your father instead of no I am your father, and Curious George having a tail. Many people believe that a possible explanation for this is that the false memories are correct, but they're correct in a parallel universe, the memories bleeding over into our own world, as how else could so many people share this same fake memory? Number three, the cold spot. All right, back to science once again. When the Big Bang created our universe, the wavelengths of light expanded, changing the color and temperature of the universe to what we now perceive as black, creating the cosmic microwave background which maps the creation of our universe according to the Big Bang. While scientists were studying this background, they discovered what they refer to as the cold spot, being the size of 1.8 billion light years. While also being colder, it apparently also contains 20% less matter than it should. So how could they possibly explain the existence of this cold spot and why it is the way that it is? Well, experts believe that this is evidence of a parallel universe having crashed into ours through quantum entanglement, impact forcing energy out of the area and leaving behind the cold spot. Number two, the Hadron Collider. Researchers at the Super Collider in Switzerland started researching in 2015, hoping to find evidence of alternate universes. They have done various different tests trying to find these parallel universes that would not exist in the visible three dimensions of our own universe, but instead be made up of dimensions that we cannot perceive. One scientist theorized that the Hadron Collider could reveal particles that could only exist in these other dimensions, and being able to see them would give us almost undeniable evidence of the existence of parallel universes in line with our own. She said that these particles would have the exact same properties of particles in our own universe, but would have greater mass. All of this is still theoretical right now, but plenty of theoretical things from the past have been discovered and made reality, so it may not be long. Number one, the Towered Traveler. In 1954, a European plane landed in Tokyo. On the plane was a man who spoke several different languages, and he told the people there that he was visiting on business. He then gave them his passport, which said that he was coming from a place called Towered. If you've never heard of this country, then don't worry, you're not alone. That's because it doesn't actually exist, and it's 
a fictional country that is in between the borders of France and Spain. The man's passport was visa stamped and he even provided a bank statement from the Tau Red Bank. His documents were taken and held in airport security while the man was left in a guarded hotel room waiting for police to arrive. But when they got there, the man was gone. People believe that this man was a visitor from a parallel universe where European history was different and led to the creation of the country of Taurus. In our number 10 spot, we have coconut tree grub. Alright, well, this food looks just like maggots. Just why, humans? What would possess someone to eat something that looks like this? Like, really, the first person that stumbled across this was like, hmm, yes. This looks delightful. I shall cook it under a hot fire and it will be delightful. No. You can't convince me that humans reacted to this that way. This was clearly discovered by some kind of reptilian person and pushed onto the masses. Or it was brought here from another dimension. Coconut tree grub can be found in the Peru jungle in, you guessed it, coconut trees. Apparently they are protein rich and taste scrumptious when cooked. Nope. I refuse to believe this. In our number nine spot, we have giant sea squirt. Giant sea squirt can be found in Santiago, Chile, off the coast. And apparently these creatures known as Pura are as big as basketballs. Look, your girl's not really into seafood, but really what in the name of my great aunt Sally is this? Honestly though, anything with a spongy like texture gives me the heebie jeebies, so again, I'm a little bit biased. It's little bubble like corpuscles make me so uncomfortable to look at it. Please leave a comment below and tell me why you think this looks edible if you do. Vice.com referred to it as looking like an alien living under a rock, and I would have to agree. In our number eight spot, we have Pololo. Not sure I understand why anyone would eat a worm-like creature in the first place, but alas, humans still do, and I shall continue to be dumbfounded. Pololo are little worm-like creatures with lots of legs that honestly give them an alien-like look, of course, from the sea. They're basically worms from another dimension. They can be blue or brown in color. They come out of the coral reefs every few years or so when the conditions are right, and when they do, they are apparently treated like a delicacy to the people along the coast of Samoa, where they are usually found. People apparently eat them raw, saying that they taste like liver fermented in salt water. Come again? <laughs> How does that sound appetizing to anyone? I don't understand. People also eat them sauteed or on bread. Yeah, I'll pass, thanks. In our number seven spot, we have horse rib and rectum sausage. Yes, you heard that right. In Kazakhstan, the people eat horses, and I must conclude that it's possible that they are not from our dimension. I mean, certainly not our continent, because I don't know any people that eat horses here. Although I don't leave my home very often, so I may be very ignorant. <laughs> Apparently the people of Kazakhstan don't like to waste any part of the animal so they eat everything from the mane to the rectum. One of their known dishes, a sausage made from whole pieces of rib meat from the horse, seasoned with salt and pepper and then stuffed with casings from the horse's butt and it's dried to cure. Apparently it is a very normal dish in Central Asia. One that I will probably never try. In our number six spot, we have the sea cucumber. The sea cucumber looks like it would be food for another species, let alone for humans in this dimension. I could also imagine another parallel universe where the animals and plants on land are just too dangerous to eat because we've infected them with all of our nuclear testing, that we have to result to eating that which is deep, deep in the ocean. And so therefore, you know, then we have to result to eating sea cucumbers instead of regular cucumbers. Hopefully that doesn't happen because something tells me it probs doesn't taste the same. <laughs> the sea cucumber is found off the waters of Sitka, Alaska. Apparently you just throw it on a wok and pour some soy sauce on it and we're good to go, honey. There's so many different pictures of it that it looks like it can appear in many different ways, but most frequently, to put it bluntly, it kind of just looks like a giant turd. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> in our number five spot, we have tarantulas. 
The people of Cambodia eat tarantulas. They must not watch any Hollywood movies and fair enough, they probably have their own entertainment with their own brand of propaganda, but holy moly is this terrifying. They eat giant tarantulas y'all. Apparently when cooked properly they can be as good as lobster, as hard as that is to imagine. After they are defanged, washed and then scorched to remove the hair and then deep fried. They're apparently good, but still, isn't it bothersome to look at their legs and shape? I'm probably too influenced by American pop culture. I'm not even sure I'm convinced anyone from a parallel universe would eat these creatures though. I can get on board with people from another planet, but anyways. In our number four spot, we have giraffe weevils. Don't let the name confuse you. This isn't a dish made from an actual giraffe. Giraffe weevils are bugs that have extremely long necks that make them the giraffes of the bug world. They are basically beetles and people have said that they look like something out of a Dr. Seuss novel. They are from Madagascar and people like to saute them in salt water and butter. Apparently they have a taste similar to shrimp. Anyways, I think they jumped in to this dimension from another one because the idea of a long neck bug just feels surreal to me. So we're gonna go with that. In our number three spot, we have Incitae. Look, this is a plant, and even though it's not that bizarre to eat plants, I'm going to include this one because it's not widely known and perhaps bizarre to someone from North America or Europe that has never heard of it. This is a plant that is known to be a part of the false banana family, which basically means it's close to a banana, but it isn't. <laughs> it's only eaten in one area of Ethiopia, and it is considered a superfood there, which is quite interesting. And the people make it into a bread, and they love it. I'm a big banana fan, so I hope I get to try this one one day. In our number two spot, we have camel kebabs. I don't know why I am fascinated by the fact that I really didn't know that this was a thing. I mean, it makes sense that people eat this as it's as common in some areas as cows are in other areas. But yeah, it is regularly eaten in the Middle East and in North Africa. People find camel kebabs to be delicious. Apparently the kebabs consist of the organs such as the liver and testicles, which are sauteed and the fat goes into the meat grinder before everything is made into a kebab. This really feels like an idea from an alien or someone from another dimension, but it's probably because living in North America is like living in another dimension when you go to the Middle East. It's just such a different world. Ah. So much to learn, so little time. In our number one spot, we have octopus ink sacks. Yes, you heard that correctly. I know what you're probably thinking. Don't octopuses use their ink sacs to ward off predators? Would it not therefore be poisonous? It surprised me to hear that apparently not. Apparently you have to first poach the ink sac and then fry it. Typically it was eaten by sponge divers who were away at sea for months that they had to make do with whatever food they caught. It is a very known dish in the island of Kalamnos. However, it is hard to find because it's from another dimension. Dun, dun, dun. Shipping through the dimensions is just quite difficult. But honestly, unless it would somehow make me lucky, I would never eat an octopus ink sack ever. Okay, I probably could be persuaded if I was offered a home in Monaco or, you know, given a million dollars or something. Mm -hmm.